the Cigar Galaxy, otherwise known as M82 or NGC3034, is a thrill to look at, whether visually through a telescope or in long exposure photography. An edge on Starburst Galaxy, located in the constellation Ursa Major, it is one of the few brighter galaxies that happens to be circumpolar where I live, which means it is above the horizon year round. But the best time to view and photograph this fascinating deep sky object is when the Big Dipper is high up, which of course is in the springtime for those of us in the northern hemisphere. And what's nice about it is, it's a fairly easy target to capture even from my Bertle 6 patio. Now this is not the first time I have attempted to capture this galaxy. Previously, I had always sought after a wide field shot that also included its galactic neighbor, Bode's Galaxy, or M81. Indeed, they do make quite an interesting pair, oftentimes even managing to fit in the same field of view in a telescope. But recently, I decided I wanted to try something different and hone in on just a cigar galaxy using a longer focal length. So when I finally had some free time on a clear moonless night this past month, I decided to set up using my 8-inch Smith Cassegrain telescope, which has a focal length of roughly 2,000 millimeters, and brought down the effective focal length to about 1260 millimeters using a focal reducer. This essentially speeds up my lens so that I can accomplish the same thing, but with shorter exposures and with less demand on my mount, albeit with a slightly wider field of view that it would be otherwise. Using my DSLR camera, I was able to get the shot that I wanted. This is what a single raw frame looks like with an exposure time of one minute. Since a cigar galaxy is located in the northern half of the night sky, and in my vicinity, the northern and western regions of the sky suffer the most from light pollution, I didn't feel the need to press my luck too much with longer subs. I had enough time that evening to capture a total of 44 subs, which yielded me a total integration time of 44 minutes. And this was the resulting image after stacking and quick editing. I do confess that I skimp on the editing side of things, per partly because I don't particularly enjoy the process of editing like I do the data acquisition. And also, I don't have the sophisticated editing software that hardcore astrophotographers commonly use. But despite this limitation, I am quite pleased with how my image turned out, and I would certainly desire to return to this target and capture longer subs in the future. Well, that is all for today's video. Be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy this video and would like to see more of this kind of content. Until next time, clear skies and cheers.